This video is about prime and composite numbers. Um, prime and composite numbers are different um, different categories we can put numbers in. And we're going to be talking about counting numbers. Remember, our counting numbers start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and keeps going forever. Uh, and we're also going to be going back to our, our factors. Okay, and I like to factor T, so I'm going to start with that. So a prime number is a number, a counting number greater than 1 that has exactly two factors, 1 and the number itself. So if we said 3, 1 times 3 is 3, there's only two factors, only two factors. So that's a prime number. Composite numbers is a counting number greater than one that has more than two factors. So one example we could do for that would be six, one and six, two and three. There's more than two factors, so it's a composite number. We could use nine, one and nine. 1 times 9 is 9, 3 times 3 is 9, so 9, since there's a repeat there, 9 has 3 factors, it's more than 2 factors, so that means it's composite. Now there's two numbers that are unique to the counting numbers, and the first number is 1. 1 is neither prime nor composite. neither prime nor composite. The reason for that is if we put it on a factor t, 1 times 1 is 1. We don't use them twice. There's only one factor. In order for it to be prime, it has to have two factors. So 1 is neither prime nor composite. 2 is also unique. It's the only, it's the only even prime number. It's the only even number that's prime. Every other even number is composite. So if we put 2 in our, on our factor T, we've got 1 and 2, only two factors, so it's composite. So that's how you determine how numbers are prime or composite based on how many factors they, there are.